This is an ABS unit from a 1995 BMW 740i, and a lot of older models use this same ABS unit. There's a problem with these older units as they age, the insulation on a wire inside of it deteriorates and just crumbles away. I'm going to show you what that looks like on the inside. This is just a mounting bolt that mounts it to the frame bracket. So you open this thing up and it just swivels open. It's got a little ribbon cable in here. <clears throat> and you can see this big wire that's in here. Right now you can see it's a bare wire and that's supposed to have insulation on it across the entire thing. And look over here, you can see the remaining insulation that, I, that peeled off of it. This stuff is just totally brittle if you, you can just break it off just like that. It just crumbles. And <clears throat> that's what happened when I opened this up for the first time. It just all crumbled off of here. Some of it was still left and I, I peeled off the rest. But Now what happens is <clears throat> when that does that, when this thing closes back up, this is like a 180 degree angle that this has to bend. And <clears throat> it actually touches the frame when you close it. Now it's actually touching the aluminum body in here and I'll show you if I put this cover back on here and we measure the resistance I have a little <clears throat> section of this wire that I've exposed so I can put a meter on here this is the positive wire <clears throat> of this motor, and this is the ground. And this wire feeds through here and connects to that wire we were looking at on the inside of this. So we're actually taking a resistance measurement right now of that wire to see if it's touching the ground. So I'm going to take this meter, and right now <clears throat> you can see there's, there's no connection. If I touch the body of this thing, you can see it's 2.1 ohms of resistance. And that means it's the wire's touching inside, and it means that it's probably not, not enough low resistance to blow a fuse somewhere, but it's enough to tell the ABS computer to shut down because it knows it's an unsafe condition. The normal vo uh, ohms for the motor is 6.7 ohms. So if the computer sees 2.0 or 2.1 ohms, it's going to shut the system down. And that's going to cause your ABS and traction control lights to come on on your dash. And when that happens, you don't have any more ABS brake function and you don't have any traction control. So this is not a good situation. It's rather unsafe. And with my experiments that I've done, the light doesn't always come on immediately either. It may see that low resistance and wait for 10 or 15 miles before it'll actually put the light on on your dash. I don't know how often the computer checks for that. You'll notice also that temperature seems to affect this problem too. I started noticing when I went through a car wash, the lights would come on in the dash after I exited the car wash. And I think it's because the temperature drops real rapidly uh, with water coming through into the engine compartment. And it causes that wire in there to flex slightly or the or the insulation around it changes somehow, but it definitely seems to be temperature related. So the simple fix for this is just to re-insulate the wire. 
and you can take some electrical tape and just wrap uh, around that wire and then just put the thing back together and you're good to go and the nice thing about that is it doesn't cost you anything and you can do this while it's in the car this unit here I got out just because it's an extra spare unit that I have but uh, you don't have to unloosen the brake lines and worry about re-bleeding the brakes or anything like that you can just pop that cover open and uh, wrap it with tape and you're good to go you'll have to take the bracket bolts off to be able to lift it up enough to clear so you can open up that cover while it's in the car but it's like a 30 minute job and it's well worth opening that up to see if you have this problem by the way the part number on this abs unit is a bmw part number 3451109091 and it was used on BMW 7 Series uh, from 1994 to 2002. I used on quite a few other models too, 5 Series and 8 Series and and a Z Series also, but varying different years.